Okay, welcome back. Um, okay, so I was talking to you before about that completing the square problem where I showed you the kind of geometric interpretation. Since I was running out of time, I didn't finish uh, explaining uh, one of the last parts of it, but I'm going to go over two other examples. So what I'm going to do is this. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of this here. That's kind of where we left off. Okay. Now notice here in the bottom you have x plus 2 quantity squared. Well, the last step you want to do is take the square root of that. So you get x plus 2 is equal to positive or negative 4 minus n, where 4 minus n is just like some number. And then the last step is to subtract 2, so you get x equal negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus n. Okay, so I promised you two other problems, and they a little more difficult than the, uh, the first one. Um, the first one was just to get the idea. Okay, so let's do this here. First problem, we'll do step by step, okay? x squared plus 6 x minus 7 equal 0. Okay, first thing you want to do is copy your x squared plus 6x, right, plus blank is equal to, if you move the 7 over, you get 7, positive 7, and then plus blank. Remember, what you do to one side, you do to the other, so the equal sign, really, in algebra is like the fulcrum on a scale, okay? So if you put, you know, something over here, you have to put something over here. If you add something here, you add something here. If you take this away, you have to take it away from this side. So that way it's always equal, okay? And this is always balanced. So you take half the coefficient of the 6x, the middle term, you take half the coefficient. In this case here, it's going to be 3, and then you square it. Well, your teacher probably told you write 9 here. Write this as 3 quantity squared. And then over here, write it as a 9. Now, this is, from here, it gets real simple. Write your parentheses. Go ahead and add these together. This is what you do. Bring down the x, bring down the sign, bring down what you're squaring. So the x, the sign, and the 3. x plus 3 quantity squared. Then when you take the square root, okay, you're going to get x plus 3 is equal to positive minus square root of 16, okay, which is x plus 3 is equal to positive negative 4. Then you subtract 3 from both sides and you get x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus 4 and that gives you two answers. You get negative 3 plus 4 negative 3 minus 4. This is going to equal 1 this is going to equal negative 7. So your two answers are going to be x is equal to 1 or negative 7. Had this been a, geom a problem that incorporated some type of geometry, meaning like you're looking for the square, you're looking for the side of a rectangular box or the area of something, um, in this case here you would exclude the negative seven. It would be an extraneous answer because you can't have a negative number for a geometric figure. But for just algebraic purposes only, um, this is your final answer. So you can go ahead and box that in. Oop. Okay, uh, let's do another problem. Let's do this. <clears throat> How about x squared plus one half x minus three is equal to zero. Okay, well, first of all, let's um, copy down our x squared plus one half x plus blank is equal to. 3 plus blank. All I did was I moved the 3 over. Okay, Half of um, 1 half is 1 fourth. Now how did I get that? From now on, anytime you have a fraction here, 
let's say you have a number four. To you know, divided by two, cutting it in half really is the same as saying four times one half, which is equal to four halves, which is equal to two. And the reason why is because there's like an invisible one. So four times one is four, one times two is two. Okay? So with that said, um, oops, with that said, one half, half of one half is one half times one half, which is equal to one fourth. So this is going to be one fourth squared, so write it as one fourth quantity squared. And this is going to be one fourth squared, which is one sixteenth, okay? Now if you don't know how I got that, you need to review your properties of exponents, okay? Because one fourth squared is 1 squared over 4 squared which is equal to 1 over 16 okay so let me move this out of the way here we don't need that and we really don't need that either okay so let's finish this up here so now like I said before write your parentheses and go ahead and add these together again if you're having problems adding these types of fractions together you need to go back to uh, some of my other videos where I talk about adding um, whole numbers and fractions together. So anyway, when you add them together, uh, you're going to get, now do it this way, <clears throat> 16 times 3 plus 1, which is going to be 48 plus 1, which is 49 over 16, so that's going to be 49 sixteenths. Okay, I know that was kind of quick. Some of you guys put this over 1, try to get a denominator of 16. Um, just do it this way, 16 times 3, 48 plus 149 and that's over 16 so now what do we do copy this copy this copy that x plus 1 fourth quantity squared and you take the square root of both sides x plus 1 fourth is equal to plus or minus the square root of 49 sixteenths which basically is equal to plus or minus root 49 over root 16 which is equal to positive negative 7 over 4 okay so now you have x plus 1 fourth is equal to plus or minus 7 fourths then move the 1 fourth to the other side subtract it and you get x equal negative 1 fourth plus or minus 7 fourths um, which is equal to negative 1 plus or minus 7 all over 4 okay and when you get that you're gonna get two answers you're gonna get this you'll get negative um, 1 plus 7 over 4 and the other one's gonna be negative 1 minus 7 over 4 and this is going to be equal to 6 fourths, divide by 2 on, on top and bottom, and you get 3 halves. And this one's going to be negative 8 over 4, okay, which is equal to negative 2. Okay, so your answers are going to be x is equal to 3 halves, or this means or, uh, negative 2. Okay, and that would be a final answer and I got one more problem and I'll actually show you how to do that one on another video because I'm kinda running out of time here so I'll do the last one on the uh, third part of this and um, thanks for watching look for it okay thanks